Um, you said something about uh, your position in the fight against uh, Donuts Cartel, and that you were key in that. Um, you, you really believe that? Absolutely, yeah, of course. Yeah, tell, me, tell me what you've done for that, that particular cause. For Don't Ask, Don't Tell? Yeah. Well, I served in the Air Force for nine years myself. Are you recording? Uh, oh. Yeah, because I don't want to misquote. Okay, it. yeah. Unless you don't want me to. No, it's great. I've served in the Air Force for nine years myself, and when I was in the Air Force, I had to call on Service Members Legal Defense Network to help me. When I was uh, investigated by someone in my squadron for an email that was read. And so when I got out of the Air Force, I decided to be a spokesperson for, Don for uh, Service Members Legal Defense Network, which I was a spokesperson for them for four years, uh, all through the Amazing Race. And then I'd spent two years writing a book called Here's What We'll Say, uh, growing up, coming out, and the U.S. Air Force and the U.S. Air Force Academy, which is a dissertation on the Don't Ask, Don't Tell policy and why it's un-American and uh, wrong for the country, wrong for the world, and wrong for the military. And um, then I started a jewelry line called Fly Naked, and the point of the jewelry line is to fund the Service Members Legal Defense Network. I give 10% of all gross proceeds of the jewelry line to fight the ban on gays in the military uh, for SLDN and against Don't Ask, Don't Tell. Uh, right now, my primary job is to travel around the country to speak to colleges, universities, and companies about Don't Ask, Don't Tell. And I speak to young people every single day. When I'm out, I'm heading out on October 2nd to be on the road for 70 days to speak at colleges, universities, and companies uh, solely on the subject of Don't Ask, Don't Tell and the ban on gays in the military. How's that? I, I, I did not know all that. And Stand I'm corrected, to hear maybe? Glad to hear. Yes, you had absolutely. Kind of an attitude absolutely. about it. Okay. I did, I did. Yeah, it sucks. Thank you. But anyway. No, no, well, because I'm, I deal with all those guys on a regular basis, I didn't know, I wanted to hear you say you were involved with that. No, you would never in. believe that, right? Well, no, no, no but I didn't know not. that. I didn't okay. know that. Um, let's change the subject then. Um, are you happy with the disclosures? I mean, if, if somebody puts you up, you've got to have a sense of humor. When I watched you in this, I assumed, I said, okay, that guy's got a sense of humor because it takes balls to do something like this. It takes balls to get up there and read your reviews. And, and, and it takes balls to be, to be with your boyfriend and to have a plot set up where there's somebody else involved that maybe is going to be hyped beyond what it was in real life. Uh -huh. So what was it like to make a decision to do this? To do the show? The show, yeah. Um, you know, it was a decision where it ba basically taking me on a path again into the public eye, and um, you know, I've I've had some I've had some good success uh, doing television. Obviously, Amazing Race, especially reality television. I did Kill Reality yep. on the E Channel, and then um, that parlayed into the Drew Carey Show, Frasier, Young and the Restless. Uh, days of our lives and um, reality TV especially is uh, it's become kind of a business for me and it's setting me up very nicely for a good financial future and uh, for me it was a it made good business sense and um, I have a lot of fun doing it so okay. you had fun doing this yeah so uh, I have I've had a blast right. yeah. good cool um, what are we gonna are we <laughs> are you still with your boyfriend from Brazil uh, yeah, yeah, he's here now. So. Oh, is he? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm, we've had you know relationship drama definitely on the show, and uh, we have to watch the show, see what happens. Um, you know, it's not all peachy, but um, you know, we do the best we can. Great. I love you in this. I had great fun watching it. I laughed out loud. Thank okay, you. Good. You're welcome.